I, by the way, I'm, I consider myself very capitalist. If anything, I'm uh, probably more capitalist than what most libertarian, right-wing libertarians refer to themselves as. If you have an anarchy, you can't stop that, period. Do you think that the Holocaust was a rights infringement? Jews did not have rights and they should not have rights. A right exists to maximize a society's utility. <sighs> Cars exist to transport people. Does that tell you what a car is? It, it, and so if we get into this, if we shut up, there'll be human extinction. There won't even be any firms. Why do you think there'll be human extinction? It's, it's the same spirit, right? Because basically the argument is that it won't happen because there's no incentive for firms to even consolidate. Why would there be extinction? I didn't. Well, you were not answering that question. Can, I know you were not. You're going down the same road again. Why would there be extinction? Possible. It can happen. That is not what you said. You said it will happen. I want to know if he thinks no such that. Thing as ah, shut up. So uh, you want to talk about um, a game theoretic debunking of anarchism? Was it? Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, you can all right. Okay. Uh, so what I'm saying that uh, free markets are always superior at allocating scarce resources to central planning, and uh, this means that anarchy would be more efficient in any single field than the state and therefore the state uh, would be worse at accounting for any industry so therefore anarchism would work okay that's it yep okay so my only argument i by the way i'm i consider myself very capitalist if anything i'm uh probably more capitalist than what most libertarian right-wing libertarians refer to themselves as but um, I define it in a different term in that I think that capitalism relies on authoritarianism and state-backed, state-sponsored, organized violence, while socialism and communism revolves and actually relies on anarchism to survive. And now what I, why I believe this is that the idea of property rights is not a right unless it is enforced. In other words, rule is not a rule unless it is enforced. What I mean here is that if you have an anarchy, you can't stop that, period. And that is why there needs to be a third party enforcer in order to prevent uh, essentially might being right. And in order for might not to be right and for proper for negative externalities such as property infringement ought to be prevented, there ought to be a third party enforcement. Now, without a third party enforcement, you would have what I call the commitment problems, which is that you commit to buying something, you, per you commit to purchasing something from someone else. And once you actually, when, once you actually take their stuff, there is no moral obligation. There is no obligation for that individual to actually compensate for the thing that you took, because transaction ought to be in both ways. However, under anarchy, there is no potential. There is no any mechanism in which an individual should take the thing and give back in a form of commodity, in a form of cash or whatever, which also, by the way, are in most cases backed by the state because cash and um, are the forms of state's organized economic sort of um, measurement is not prevalent or is not standardized under anarchy. And now you can you can argue that being nationally formed, and I'm, I'm sure they do, but what the state allows them to do is for them to be standardized under a artificial boundary, aka a border, in which they could be freely trans transaction through. All right, yeah, you said their property rights are not a right unless it's enforced, so I would ask you if the Holocaust involved any rights infringements. Well, I think that rights in general are is a normative term, not a positive term. There is no such thing as rights unless you actually make them out to be a right. I mean, this is an answer to the question. I think that we define rights as different things. Like, for example, you can say that the sure. All, the right I, all to I need to know right now is whether the Holocaust involved any rights infringement. That's all I care about right now. In your definition, yes, maybe, and, and under my definition, most likely yes, but in other most people's yes. definitions, probably not. Wait, so your definition is only most likely that it's a rights infringement? Under my definition of rights and what I believe should be rights, then yes, the Holocaust is an infringement of rights. Okay, but so the Holocaust is an infringement of rights, but the rights of the Jews who were slaughtered were not enforced. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, but you said property rights are not a right unless it's enforced. Yes. So they didn't have the right to life then? They didn't have a right to not be killed, I should say. 
I didn't say that. I said that they. Uh, you did say that. That's the implication of what you said. You said property rights are not a right unless it's enforced. And I am asking, was the Holocaust a rights infringement? Because we know the root Jews who were killed, their rights to not be killed were not enforced. And you yeah, under Nazi that. yeah, that's why I made a caveat early on, which is that rights are not enforced. And under Nazi Germany, they did not have any rights. No, 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 no. The caveat you made was that property rights are not a right unless they're enforced. Yes. So you don't think the Jews had a right to not be killed? In the international sense, they do. But in the Nazi... I, I don't care about the international under... sense or anything. Like I care about whether they had a right to not be enforced. In the general sense. I don't care about international, national, I, don't I, care I, about any of that. You're not, you're not contradicting my statement, because the statement that I made is that rights are normative, right? The rights are normative. I and don't, I don't know or Nazi care what that means. I want you to explain your position for, for me. I am explaining my position. Rights are normative. And under the Nazi regime, they believe that Jews did not have rights and they should not have rights. <laughs> yes, so yes, yes, yes. But do you think that they, their rights were infringed? I don't care what the Nazis thought. I care about you. what you think. Do you think that the Holocaust was a rights infringement? What I said earlier is that rights are normative. So... Do you think that the Holocaust was a rights infringement? Under the Nazi regime, I don't no, care what the Nazi... Under my, so under the Nazi yes. regime, so under the Nazi... So the Holocaust was not a rights infringement then? Under their framework, no. But on our universe... I, I'm framework, asking yes. your opinion. Do you think I, I the Holocaust was a rights infringement? I just gave you my opinion. You think it wasn't a rights infringement? No, I didn't say that. I so you think? So you agree that the Holocaust? So you agree? Okay, right, right, yep, 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 cool. So you agree that the Holocaust was a rights infringement? Do you agree that their rights were not enforced? The, I, I, Do you I think said, their rights were earlier, enforced? I don't think you're understanding my position very well. Okay, then, Steel Man. Because I said earlier, is, what I said earlier is that rights are normative. Okay, and right. Jews okay, right. Not have rights I'm gonna go. Them. I'm gonna go off and get another drink. I want you to think about your position because I'm gonna ask the exact same question when I come back. Because he doesn't know how to debate, I guess. All right. Okay. So, do you think the Holocaust was rights infringement? Rights are given to people, right? Rights are given. That is not to an people. answer to my question. Do you think the Holocaust yeah, no, was rights I'm, infringement? I'm your rights are given to people. That's a third rights time you've said your thesis. Rights Do you think you're the not, right you're not, you're Holocaust you're, was a I'm rights infringement? It's a yes or no. Me. It's a yes or no. It really is. Do you think the Holocaust was a rights infringement? Under Nazi regime, no. Under universal law, yes. What, what about under your opinion? Do you think the Holocaust was a rights infringement? I, I just gave you my opinion. What are you, you did not. Yes, I did. Do you think the Holocaust was a rights infringement? Yes or no? I don't care what uh, law XYZ says or what law ABC says. I care what you say. I said it is it is not infringement under Nazi regime, but it is infringement I care, universe. It's under your opinion. Is it an infringement? I just gave you my opinion because under my your opinion, opinion right do you think, think right they're an infringement? I don't want you to talk right about whether person Y it. says it's an infringement or whether person X says it's an infringement. I care whether you say it's an infringement. Do you think it's an infringement? I, I've asked. I'm going to give you the same answer. It do is not you personally? Do Nazi you personally history. think that it was a rights infringement? I don't care whether the Nazis thought it. I don't care whether the UN thinks it. I don't care whether the fucking US should, thinks it. I I think that should be considered a rights okay. infringement. Okay, you think it should be considered? Okay, you can frame it in some whatever weird way you want. You think it should be considered a rights infringement that yes. the that that the Jews were killed during the Holocaust? Okay, great. Yes. And do you agree that it was not enforced? Under the Nazi regime, no. And you said before, it's not a right unless it's enforced. Yes. And now I need to ask you, what do you think rights are? Rights are normative. They no, are, are given they? to you by the state. Uh, to do pursue different okay, things. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. If they're given to you by or the state... they are naturally given to if, you. If rights are given to you by the state then how could any state action against a person be considered a rights infringement, including the Holocaust? Could you repeat that? If rights are given by the state, how could any single, uh, you know, action by the state be considered a rights infringement? I never said it was. So you think the Holocaust was not an infringement because it, the rights were not given by the state? I didn't really say that. You I said, didn't really say that you it was a rights you said, I said that it should be. You said that they are not a rights infringement if it's not given by the state. You said that rights are given by the state. 
So what is, what is and this? And they weren't given what, by the state in this case. What is this notion of they should have been given by the state? The whole purpose of me saying that is that rights are normative, in the sense. Yeah, but that doesn't, really, just, that doesn't really explain what you mean by uh, the rights should be this way, but why should they be that way? Why not some other way? You still I'm there? Confused. What? Uh, you're saying like you know it wasn't a rights infringement for the Holocaust to happen, but it should have been a rights infringement. What does that mean? Like, what do rights actually mean? What is what is the definition of a right? A right exists to maximize that utility. That's not going to give. That's society. not going to give me a definition. I know it's not because you're saying why what exists to do. I'm saying what is a right. I'm telling you the purpose in which rights, the concept of rights, was created, was to maximize. No, utility but what is a right? A Let's say I'm an alien who just landed here. What is a right? A right exists to maximize a society's utility. <sighs> Cars exist to transport people. Does that tell you what a car is? Yes, it tells it you It does not tell you what a car is. Could you go and build a car on the description? Cars exist to transport people. You couldn't, right? It gives it gives you what cars do. Yeah, I don't, I'm not asking what rights do. I'm asking what they are. What is a car? What are rights? So you want me to tell you how people use rights? No, 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 no. I want you to tell me what rights are. You can define it however you want, but... No, no, I no, no. I, 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 yeah, I can define it however I want, but I want to know what you define it as. It's fine if you don't have an, a, a definition of rights. We can go on to ethics at some other point. If, if you want to just talk about the economics of anarcho-capitalism, that's fine. Because I know that's what this debate was originally over. Is that is that what you're yeah. after here? Sure, we can do that. I mean, if you don't accept my definition, then sure, we can do that. I, I, you didn't give a definition is my problem here. And I'm giving you ground so that we can expand into something you might have something on. I was being generous. Let's go to ethics of anarcho-capitalism then. Uh, if, so you want to stay on ethics then? Or just... Because you, because you don't have any arguments for ethics here. This is why I gave you that ground. So you could say, yes, let's just talk about the economics. Because that was what the contention was over. But now you're acting like, it's like, no, that's stay on ethics. Do you want to stay on ethics then? I just gave you my definition of rights. You did not? You okay, what was it then? Because I, 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 I had amnesia there. Uh, what was your definition of rights then? Right... A right is a tool in which it is used to justify... A car is a tool or... in which it's used to transport people. That does not tell me what a car is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Could you build a car if I said a car transports people? Could I'm you not build a car you how that? to build rights. I, am that I is what I'm asking for. That is the ethical foundation of this. We've gotten to this point already. If, I know it's very confusing, is, but this is listen, what ethics conversations are me, like. This is what ethics listen, conversations listen, if, are like. I want you to know. I want you to tell me what a right is. is. A car is something. A car is a vehicle that transports people. That's how I'm going to answer it. You would say, "Hey, a car is a big metal box. It's on wheels. It has an engine which turns those wheels, and the turning of those wheels allows the car to ha undergo locomotion, which transports people from A to B. That's the level of rights I want you to explain to me." So like how it functions as well, apparently, because that's that shouldn't no, be a part of the definition. No, what it is, what it is, not just what it does, what it it's is. It's a means. It's a means. I want it's you to tell me what rights are. Just saying a car is a thing that transports you does not tell me what a car is. I, you could apply that to planes. You could apply it to trains. I want to get a definition from you which applies only to cars. I want a definition which applies only to rights. I don't know why you're so stuck on this definition here. Because you, you keep... Because I, I gave you an out. I gave you an out to go into economics. And you said, no, let's stay on ethics. And now we're getting back to I ethics said, again. And this is the point we're at with ethics. in ethics. This is an ethics debate. Now, you asked me to go back into ethics. I gave you, no, I, I think, said, three go opportunities to, to go into oh, economics. Okay, Do you want you to go what, into economics now? Do you want yeah, to go let's back? Go to let's go okay, to let's go to economics. Okay, so why would anarcho-capitalism not work? I just explained to you in the first, in the first Explain five minutes. Explain again. Capitalism relies on a third party enforcement in order to. Why does it rely on a third party enforcement? Because of commitment problems. Explain that. Commitment problem is where one player, if, assuming that there are two players, when one player does something in regards to, say, a transaction or whatever, and a commitment problem exists when the second player has no incentive to go through a given contract that happens so, in a given so transaction. It's when, so it's when A and B are having a contract and B has no incentive to 
actually fulfill that contract. Yes. Okay, but they do have an incentive because they would have some sort of private rights enforcement agency coming after them. That's government. So it's why, not government. Why it it's government? private rights enforcement agency. I said the private word there. That means non-governmental. Private. So yes. like a like a bodyguard. Yeah, far more advanced than a bodyguard, but that's the current like, implementation what, of it. Can you explain to me what this private enforcement is? Sure. Uh, they we we generally refer to them as REAs, uh, rights enforcement agencies. Uh, they'd be just basically these firms where you. Uh, subscribe to one of these firms if you want their protection and you know okay. if somebody infringes on your rights you call them up and you say hey my neighbor bob just stole my fucking tv can you go get it back and then they'd go and they'd get your tv back they you know they might arbitrate okay. over it okay okay that's a private okay. rights enforcement agency okay then um what may, what stops the other person from having a firm which is richer and wealthier and also mightier and also more powerful than the other firm player one from using that to say no actually i'm just going to keep this well no firm wants to engage in war that would be very unprofitable why not it would be very unprofitable okay then th then th the same argument the same logic applies to the other one okay so that that because yeah so, they, they don't want, two, so yeah exactly say, well, it does no, apply no, to both of them no. so neither of them yes, want to engage yes, in warfare so they want yes, to it arbitrate yeah, over it you. yes it does the reason why they it want to arbitrate to them is that yeah, i know it applies to both of them i agree with you in I agree with you. Case, You're right? not listening player to me. Player two has the ability to call up the other firm, right? And then the player one can also have the right to, or be able to call up the other firm. And then you have essentially a stale stalemate. There is no possible did, way. Did you not hear? If you are, are you not hearing what you're saying yeah, right now? It will now. be unprofitable for player one. Are you not firm, hearing what you're saying right now? It will be unprofitable for player two's firm. Uh, so yes, it goes both exactly. It will be unprofitable to both. Private it'll, enforcement at all. Exactly. That's the thing. Exactly. It will be unprofitable to both to engage in warfare. So they want to arbitrate. So they would have their clients say, hey, if we get into a dispute I with actually didn't listen oh, to you because I, just I know you didn't and, uh, and so if we get into this if we shut up if we get into a dispute with this firm over here we're going to arbitrate through this company when you sign the contract with us you agree to that so because we don't want to go to war with this firm because we'll lose a whole lot of money by doing that so we are disincentivized in doing that do you disagree that that is a disincentive because you said that that's a disincentive you have to repeat everything because you didn't listen to what Fucking I said. Fucking Christ. Okay, right. A and B, they have firm X and Y, can, uh, uh, respectively. So A says, hey, B just stole my television. Firm X would say to a firm Y, hey, your client it just stole my client's television. He's being accused of this. And they say, oh, that's okay. Because we have court XY and court XY is going to arbitrate between us. They're gonna find oh, out who they're course. gonna find out who the guilty of party is. Because that is the cheapest option. Do you disagree okay, that that is the cheapest okay. option? So we have courts too. Which Obviously, is yes. Okay, okay, so who pays for the courts? Who uh, you, them? Though the firms in hiring the court services would pay the judge. They would say, Hey, we're giving you money to arbitrate this. Okay, what if and say that the say that the court says, No, we are not going we're going Say that the court actually takes the the rightful side, right? The let's say player A, right? What stops what stops firm from just ignoring the court's order? I mean, then they'd lose a whole lot of fucking money because they'd be forced to go to war. They didn't want to go to war. We agreed on this. What, but so so would so would firm too, right? So would firm too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Neither firm order. would want to go to war. We agreed on this. You're making my point yeah, so for me. Yeah, yeah, so, so neither both, firm would want to go to war. So war. why would either of them go like, eh, I don't care about that court's decision, I'm going to war. They'd lose money. We no, agreed on no, this. They, they would just be holding their grounds. They would be like, okay, you, you no, can no, just no, 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 no. That is not what you said. You said, you said, you said that they would not want to go to war because they'd lose money. You don't, I don't, I don't think you know like what basic consequences I don't think you understand what basic the argumentation is. You just said no. that they would not want to go to war because they'd happened. lose money. The theft already happened. Person A took the property of person B. They already have it. Yeah, the and neither a firm wants to go, go to war. war. To take it back. Listen, listen. The person who has this to go is not game war theory. This is economics. Why? Can right? you provide the an economic argument? Take it back because the the theft because it already happened. And why would 
why would firm Y do that? Why would they go to war against firm X? They wouldn't because but, war is unprofitable. Okay, can so we, anything, it's yes, they wouldn't go to war. They wouldn't go to war. Okay, yes, yeah, so we agree that they wouldn't go to war. Is that correct? If firm Y is willing do to Do you go agree to war, that they would not go to war? Don't go into a fucking whole preamble again. Do you agree that they would not want to go to war? It depends. It depends. Fucking Christ. Okay, what does it depend on? When would they want to go to war? If firm Y is willing to go to war for the sake of V... So you think they'd not, want to go to war know, if they were wanting no. to go to war? That's in circular argumentation. No, listen, listen. I did person, listen, and you went into immediate no, circular you logic. You when would they want to go to war? Person A already stole... Person when would they want correct? to go to war? Correct. Person A already When would stole they want to go to war? That already happened. You're, You're not, not explaining yeah, when they would want to go to war. A war happens when there's an imperfect information, or uh, when no, there's no, 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 no. A war problem. happens when they cannot when arbitrate. A war happens when they it cannot arbitrate. When one party on is not willing to arbitrate, that's when they go to war. You are presupposing things about my system that I did not state. You, have, you, you basically don't have any means in which you can actually know and you whether thought or you had debunked anarchy. This is pathetic, mate. Go to war against firm X. You don't. So at the end of the day, so do like, you? Th okay, right. Let's get this from step one. Do you think that they'd want to go to war? Do you think that would be profitable? So you you start. You, you're yes talking, or no? Or do you think that would be profitable to go to what? war? For what? To go to war. For who? for who to go to war? Either firm. Do you think? Do you think it'd be profitable for one firm and not the other? Depends on how much more armed they are. Okay, how much more armed does it take for them to, for it to suddenly be profitable to engage in war? At this point, we're talking about international relations. If if firm Y has a military, no, we're talking about inter. Tech we're talking like we're talking about intercompany relations here because we are presupposing a stateless society. I'm gonna go get another drink, and I want you this to is, really think about your position IR. this time. I want you this to act. I want you to actually think unitary about your position this system. time. Can you actually think about your position this time? I'm you, gonna you, give you, you some more no, you're time again. You're, you're definitely not listening, Zulu. You're not listening. Hello there. So, do you think it would be profitable for a firm, just any generic firm, to engage in warfare? Yes. You think it would be profitable? If the other firm is only only has a pistol while the other firm has tanks and missiles and aircrafts, then yes, it would be profitable to just kill them and take all their stuff, yes. And, and you think that is a likely arrangement in the market? That is a what? You think that's a likely arrangement in the market, do you? What is a likely arrangement? Uh, something you'd expect to happen economically. Do you think you, you'd expect there to be one massive firm and every other firm only has a couple pistols? Do you think that would happen? Well... No, because it's anarchy. You don't. Because okay, you, right. You don't think that would happen. So why did you bring reason, it up? No, let's. So how about no, what do you think would happen no, in no, the no, event? No, so stop, that is. Stop, stop, stop. So we. So we ignore stop, that then. The reason why. All right. Okay. Calm down. Right, calm, down calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Right. We don't. All right. Uh, 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 we don't expect. We do nothing. We do absolutely nothing. We do not. So we do not expect that to happen. So, considering what we do expect to happen. We don't expect that to happen, so don't bring it up anymore. What? Why would you expect it to be profitable if we don't expect that reduction to happen? That's nonsense. That's my question. I I just gave my statement. Did you Did you even listen to what I said? No, I muted you for a second. Oh, I muted you too, so, but um, I'm the owner, so. I okay, right. So, uh, well, I'm the one recording. Uh, so, given that you do not think that it would happen. That you would have this massive firm. Why would you bring it up? How about what we what we do expect to happen? Why would you think pro war would be profitable? So you didn't answer. You didn't listen to any of the things that I said. Okay. No, I muted you. Just as you I admitted muted you to mute me. Yeah, I just restated my point. That if we if you do not Hold expect on. Hold on if Hold you on. if you do not expect that arrangement to occur, why would you bring it up? And under what we do expect to occur. Why would you think war would be profitable? Are you going to answer? <laughs> Hold on. The my my answer is that under the assumption that it will consolidate, monopolization will consolidate. No, 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 no. But, but you you just you just accepted that that was a bad assumption. You said that that would not happen in the market because the because yes because 
Yeah, so you agree that 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 wouldn't happen. So don't bring it up. Okay, how about this? How about this? The reason why I said it won't even be likely is that there will be human extinction. Let's just say that, right? There'll be human extinction. There won't even be any firms. Why do you think there'll be human extinction? It's, It's the same spirit, right? Because basically the argument is that it won't happen because there's no incentive for firms to even consolidate. Why would there be extinction? I didn't, well... You were not answering that question. I know you were not. You were going down the same road again. Why would there be extinction? It can happen. That is not what you said. You said it will happen. Let's just, no, I said, let's... No, I have it right down here. You said there will be extinction. extinction. You said that's why you think it wouldn't happen. You said because there would be extinction. So you do not think there would be extinction, right? There do you or do you not think there would be extinction? Then my point stands, right? Do you and or do you not think there would be extinction? Firms will not consolidate. Do you or th- firms will not consolidate? Cool. So we agree on firms that then. Consolidate. You just said the opposite there. You've just contradicted yourself in one second. No, I didn't. I said you firms did. Won't consolidate. You said firms will not consolidate, and then you said firms will consolidate. Okay, fine. I misspoke. Then firms won't consolidate. That's what I meant to say. Okay. Right. Why would brief intervene? So yeah, they won't consolidate. Firms won't. Yeah, they won't consolidate. I agree on that. Under anarchy, no. The, yeah, they won't Here. consolidate. I don't think they'll consolidate into some massive oh, oh, fucking oh, giga oh, firm. Okay, okay. I see. I see. I, I see. No. Okay. You you mis- you're misunderstanding what I what I mean about firms not consolidating. I mean firms won't even be a thing. Keo. Yeah, but why wouldn't they be a thing? Stay yeah, your game. Okay. Theoretic objections to anarchy. What? This is this is going to come down to your um your game theoretic objections. Which but I don't think you've stated yet. Can can somebody report this? Like actually, I'm doing it right now. Don't I, worry about I it. I think if you made that point, it might clear up your perspective, and Zulu would understand it better. Oh, don't worry. I've got. I've got, I, there's a video out there with his argument. Uh, it's just the free rider problem. It's very hilarious. So yeah, go, go, lead us to the free rider problem, would you? <sighs> okay, I mean, there's way too many things to explain here, but I'll just say, right, the reason why I said that war isn't even likely is that on, on, among two firms is that firms won't even exist under Why anime. won't they? Because Because each interaction would be a prisoner's dilemma. There you go. Exactly. Why would it be? That's what I was trying to... I'll shut up now. So... The, the reason why I say this, and the reason why I didn't even want to bring this up and just said, okay, let's assume, let's assume human extinction is that this go, this changes the topic entirely. So let's just, uh, let's just go here. Um, so firms won't consolidate. In other words, why is every action a prisoner's dilemma? Jesus Christ, get to the point. Private, stop interrupting me. Jesus Christ. Get to the point. You keep just restating your thesis. Why would every action be I a prisoner's dilemma? Stop interrupting me. Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what? Someone needs to record. Um, uh, don't worry, I'm recording. It's all going up on YouTube. Why would every interaction be a prisoner's dilemma? Can you answer that? I was answering Now, if we go back to the start of time and we uh, look at the first protozoa, I don't care about the entire fucking thread of the argument to this point. I care about why every interaction is a prisoner's dilemma. I didn't Do you have even an answer? Say, I didn't even say every interaction would be a prisoner's dilemma. I did say, however, that. Oh my god! But that was what Hobby said as a steel man of your position, and you said, "Yes, that's my position." So, what is your actual position then? My no. What I said was, what I agreed to was that the interaction between a supposed mercenary and the the firm that's hiring that mercenary would be a prisoner's dilemma because you what ma- you Why? mentioned is a private mercenary firm, right? That's not sustainable. Say that you are a firm. Why would it be a prisoner's dilemma? You, I'm explaining to you. Say that you're a capitalist, right? And you you are you want to start a mercenary company and you you see a guy with a pistol and you give him a money, you give him the money and say, be my bodyguard. He and you have let's say you have uh a thousand dollars on you and you pay the guy a hundred dollars. Hey, you know what? Be my mercenary and you pay him a hundred dollars. What stops him what stops the, the mercenary for one from just shooting you and taking the rest of the wallet? What stops that? What stops the state from doing that? Institutions. But, but you're not whoa, answering whoa, my whoa, question. Whoa, 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 what institutions? You, you're not answering my question. Though. But if this is... It, it, whoa, whoa, whoa. But... It, but whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop talking. If, 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 if oh, this is... Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm doing the exact... If this is something that applies to the state, as well as to anarchy, then it... And we don't see it happening with the state, then you'd have to explain why it's different from the state to anarchy, why it would suddenly start applying. 
to our wallet. What stops them? What You're stops not answering from, my question. What stops them from happening to the state? You, you're, you, you can't answer a question. Do you think it happens to the state, yes or no? You're not answering my question. I I'm, not question going, I'm not going to go into mathematical theoretics with you. You, you asked the question second. You asked the question second, buddy. I asked uh, the question uh, first. This is, not, this is not fucking first question. come, first served. If you, have a, if you have a dilemma with anarchy that applies equally to the state and doesn't happen to the state, then there's obviously a fault in your reasoning. Stealing and robbing from the capitalists. What stops that? Are you going to answer Who's why answering? it doesn't happen to the state? Do you think it happens to the state? Do you think it happens to the state? Yes or no? You, you're not answering my question. Do you think it happens to the state? Yes or no? You, you're not answering Do you my think question. it happens to the state? Yes or no? Do you think it will happen? All right. Okay. So this is a si situation where it either it applies to the state and it doesn't apply to anarchy or it applies to anarchy and it doesn't apply to the state, it applies to neither or it applies to both. If it applies to both, then there is a moot point. If it applies only to anarchy, then he needs to show this. If it, if it doesn't apply to either, then again, it's a moot point. So he needs to show why it's disanalogous between anarchy and the state. All you have to do is answer my question. All you have to do is my answer my question. I'm taking, taking the wallet. Just I'm not, not, not going to go down. down a rabbit hole if we both agree that it doesn't happen to the state. I, you're not answering the question, which this I This is just a gotcha. Oh, do you not see why I say this is a gotcha? This is a stalemate. I mean, do, do you understand I'm, why I'm, 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 do you understand I'm, why I'm saying this is a gotcha? I'm saying it's a gotcha because it applies to your system as well, and you don't think it happens in your system. So you're clearly using some logical trick in there to make it sound like it's applying only to anarchy, when in actuality it would equally apply to your system, and it doesn't happen in your system. You can answer. I can. I can address that later, but you're not answering the question. First. Answer it right now. I I asked the question first. You, it's your job. Right, this is not first come, first served. Yes, it is. Yes, it, it really is. is not. Yes, it is. You, I'll answer your question. Have you, answer are you three years old? Have you had two debates in your life? I just... Uh, it's, you can't we are not just, having... We are not having you some, like, fucking... Question, you, now you get two minutes. Now you get what? two minutes. Now you get two minutes. We're not doing that right now. We're doing... You need to... I'm, I'm demonstrating a priori why your criticism applies equally to you. I didn't criticize anything. I'm just asking you. You absolutely question. are. Which you are. Like to do? You are acting like I'm you're not criticizing something because you understand it makes you look ridiculous. It does make you ridiculous. I'm using your exact same tactic, <laughs> which is boggling down on hypothetical questions. Wait, wait, wait you, do you not understand and that your criticism? I do you not understand that I have piped your criticism right back to you, implying that your criticism applies to you. So if you if that is a valid criticism. You are also wrong. So it's a moot point. Are you going to answer my question? Oh, not unless you answer mine. It, I've okay, typed it back to you. Percent. Unless you answer it's mine. It's a I'm moot point. Do you not understand that? I've displayed I, why it's a moot I'm point. I'm going to address why that's not a moot point after you answer it. But you're not. So you're at a... No, you're no, no. You don't address why it's not a moot point after I answer it. You address why it's not a moot point no, before. No, I'll do that after you Because I've you already shown it. why it's a moot point. Because, no, th because the point is that you're you're essentially criticizing the axioms and the assumptions surrounding the hypothetical. No, right now, I'm criticizing your criticism. Your criticism applies equally to states as it does to anarchy. And yet none of us think that it applies to states. So therefore, it must not apply to anarchy, or else we're being inconsistent. But the, pro the problem is, I'm asking in your own worldview, and under anarchy, what stops that from happening? Why doesn't it happen to Nothing. states? Nothing. So it's so, so your it does, own it, So it does happen to states. I'm asking you. Does it? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Does it happen to states? What? Why is that not the case? Why is it not the case in your worldview? Does it apply equally? I, I'm not talking about my worldview. I'm this is a very world. easy question to answer, by the way. I am. Does it, it apply to both systems? If so, we why have something are, intersubjective. Are you Do you understand not, what I mean by intersubjective? Question, Do you understand what I mean by that? Do you understand what I mean by intersubjective? Do you or do you not understand what I mean by intersubjective? It's such a simple question. If it's and intersubjective it and we both agree that it does not apply to anarchy, then it's a moot fucking point. You don't understand I what moot points are. Point. 
You can try and be this little like game gremlin, like every fucking socialist, where you try and make it, where you just go like, ah, but, 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 but why is this position true? Go right back to the metaphysics of reality and go right down to the fucking root. But that is entirely uninteresting. That is, it's, it's not, it doesn't make you intelligent to be like a fucking but why demon. It does not make you intelligent to do that. I am trying to build something into subjective here. Why is it that it does not apply to the state? If it does apply to the state, then it's a moot point. Jesus Christ. Do you have an answer? Someone needs to I, I guess that's a no. Uh, do you want to just end this now? If you have no answer, do you or do you not have an answer? Are you sulking now? Well, I guess that's a fucking victory for me then. I'm gonna fight Gacy or are we, are we going uh, back to this then? Dahmer. Uh, hmm. What type of fight? Is it just like, are they in like a right. ring? Hang on, so. Regular fight. I think Gacy. Let's, are we going back to this? Let's clear up. What is the proposition under debate? Because that needs to be precise. My understanding of the proposition was that uh, the, the anarcho capitalism could not possibly work because of the collective action problem. Right. And the collective and action problem. And where's the burden of proof in this? Uh, the burden of proof would be on uh, the collect. Basically, I need to explain what the collective action problem is from my perspective. The collective action problem concerns the redistribution of goods. Is uh, basically yes, is. that no, 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 uh, no, no, you know? No, no, whoa, 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 I'm going to explain it. I'm going to explain it. It's going to be. If the collective action problem would be, say, there's a tribe of a hundred people. And fifty people go off to hunt every other day. Then one yeah. guy, so one guy. We're not, we're not, we've not what? started it yet. I'm what? trying to make clear who's defending and who's attacking. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm just trying to explain what my understanding of the collective action problem. Yeah. So one guy, so, in, one guy well, in this group of. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop. Yes, yes. I think we Shut all agree up. on that. We all agree on that. One guy in this group yeah. of fifty going off to hunt could say, "Hey, I'm not going to go off," and they probably won't notice. And then he stays behind, yeah. and there's only 49 going out. And then the next day, so, his friends might find out, and there's only 43. And, you know, so on and so forth, until there's, like, nobody going out to hunt. That is the collective action problem, which is basically yeah, a restating so, yeah. of the free rider problem in game theoretic terms. Do you, do you agree with that statement of the problem? And if not, can you please state it yourself? And Zulu, don't interrupt until he looks like he's finished, please, or this is just going to spiral again. Can someone record this? Are recording it, Hobby? I can't. I don't have the software. Can you listen to it on your computer and record on your phone? Just say your in. fucking point. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, Carson's recording. There we go. Carson? That's yeah. Great. Do you want to state the problem? Okay, so... The... The defender is Zulu, which apparently he thinks the burn is on me to prove... But no, it's actually on him to prove oh. his point. And I'm attacking him on the basis that anarchism won't work on multiple reasons. Collective action problem and the free riders problem being one of them. Yeah, we'll start with that one. So and it's given his statement problem. of what he thinks the collective action problem by the is. Way, collective action problem do you want to state it yourself so you know what we're defending stop. against? Hobby, stop. So the collective action problem is an umbrella term. Free riders problem is not the same thing as collective action problem. It's just one of them. Collective action problem can also refer to other things, um, such as coordination problem. Right. So not all collect so not all collective action problem is free riders, but all free riders problem is collective action problem. All right. What's the problem involved? The problem here is that for one, there's a free riders problem in this anarchic system, in that nobody is incentivized to provide a collective public good thing, including what he proposed was a court system. Now, I wasn't really attacking on that point, even though that has plenty of rooms to attack him on. But what I was proposing was the idea of commitments problem, which is something else in game theory, which is the idea that there is no potential third party enforcer when you when there is a case of theft and there is no incentive for yeah, when there is no incentive for the second player to essentially abide by a contract. There is nothing that backs the contractor. Now, you can say, you can argue that there is a privatized court system. Okay, then again, there's nothing stops that privatized court or whatever that privatized mercenary 
their collect commit commitment problem also exists even if you bring in the private mercenaries, and even among within the private mercenaries institutional structure, there is a commitment problem. And even if you have, you, if you try to hold these firms accountable through a court system like you, Zulu has suggested, that also has a commitment problem because there is nothing that actually enforces these things. So we have yeah, that's the flaw right. of your argument. Okay, so a uh, number of goods that require a third party enforcer, otherwise the incentives are such that they cannot work. Sure, sure. So that is the commitment problem is that there's no third party anarchy. Who says there's no third party in anarchy? Who says that third party must be the state? Who says that there has to be one third party for everything rather than many individual third parties? Because the state is centralized and then as an institution. That, why does that imply that there has to be only one third party? Because it's centralized. But why does that imply there only has to be one third party? But then not be a decentralized enforcement. I, I'm, I'm asking you a question right now. It's that... I'm asking you a question right now. How could there not be decentralized enforcement? Why does it have to be one single third party? Yeah, I think that's what Kyo is about to answer. Kyo's a neocon right, shill. Christ, condensate, shut up. Oh. Can he's I... To answer that question, it has to be centralized because if it is not, if it's decentralized court system or a privatized court system, there's literally nothing preventing the court system from being either bought out or just being outright no different from another thing, another entity that is simply hired for the sake of backing, partially backing the other player or party over another. Okay, is one firm less likely to be brought out, bought out than a million firms? One firm, what? Is one firm less likely to be bought out than a million firms? One enforcer. One enforcer, you mean? Or one firm? If you had one enforcer, there, yeah, could so, it not be corrupted a lot more easily? Yeah. Is, is, if, is one group not more easily corruptible than many disparate groups who are competing? Uh, not necessarily, no. Why not? Why? Exactly. What, what, and what you, need to prove, be... what you need to prove is that one I, firm... Asking, what, whoa, 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 whoa. What you need to prove is that one firm is less corruptible than many competing firms. Can you do that? Can I Can I answer why? Yeah. I'm giving you an opportunity. It's all right. I, I, I won't let you be why, interrupted. The reason why it depends or that there is no answer is that sometimes one group can have multiple subgroups within it. Entirely irrelevant to the question. I asked, is one firm less likely to be out than many? Depends. It doesn't... What does it depend on? Depends on whether that one group has subgroups in it. Okay, let's assume no subgroups, because that just complicates the matter unnecessarily. Is okay. one firm less likely or more likely to be bought out and there than are no many competing the firms? the size is the same for all firms? No, no, like, no, no, let's not assume the size is the same. We're assuming the state which is every firm collapsed into one singular glob versus wrong. many competing wrong. firms. That is okay, not wrong. Okay, so that is entirely you, correct. That is what the state is. is. Okay. okay, I'm going to meet you. Yeah, this is funny because now you are saying, now you're basically turned a question, hypothetical question into an outright Fucking argument. hell, okay, man. This one state, is that one firm that you're talking about? That is that's, what the state is. Um, so, first of all, no, it is, is necessarily wrong. homogenous. That's, that's, that's what your argument is. Brought up the point that it depends on whether that group has a subgroup or sets set, sets of subgroups. Oh my god! Ignore the subgroups. Example, the ignore state, the fucking subgroups. Yes, but it has other. Ignore the fucking it. subgroups. Example, the courts, the they're irrelevant. And the circuits and other things, for example. Jesus fucking that Christ! You understand what they're irrelevant? You can't simply Shut up! Stop just saying words. You're just wasting time here. And they will be able to. You are wasting time. You are wasting everyone oh, here's really? time. Stop! 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 So, we have a question of the state versus competing firms. The state will necessarily be a homogenous entity and the competing firms will necessarily be dishomogenous. They'll be competing. So which one do you think is more corruptible? A state versus multiple firms? Yes, in the way that I just described. How do you define corruptible? Now, you brought that term up. You mean which one is more... Bill, what? What would constitute that the firm was compromised for you, Zulu? Uh, well, he was the one who brought Zulu. up the term corruptible, so I want to know what he thinks, whether he thinks... I want to know if he thinks There's no such that... thing as corruptible. Ah! Shut up! 
I want so, to know if he thinks that a million different firms so, I'm, are more corruptible than okay. one singular uh, there, firm. There's no such thing as a corrupt firm because you the brought the, the fucking term corrupt into this. That was you. To you brought that here. I think I did. Meant to maximize the aggregate utility. No, because it was so the there, commitment so problem. Really say that. It was a the it, it, was the it was the commitment problem. It was the commitment problem that led. It was the commitment problem that led to if decentralized, there is nothing preventing them from being bought out. That was him who brought that in, and I want to know whether it's more likely that a big firm will be bought out or a million small firms. All right. Is the government as likely or more likely to be bought out? I just, Easy I restatement just of it. I just answer. Just fucking hell. Just answer. Stop going into massive Should fucking tirades. Just answer. Just more answer? or less. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Is you can't compare a firm more corrupted. or less. A firm is supposed to I'm just asking. I'm asking for bought out. I'm answering. Uh, I'm uh, answering. <laughs> shut up. I'm asking if many firms or one singular entity is more likely to be bought out. A firm is a profit maximum. I'm asking if many individual entities yeah, chunked down on. to very There's small units. Jumping on him there might not have been right. Or massive homogenies. Which one do you think is more? E which one do you think is easier to buy out? If I have yeah, to go we for know the question. many, Let him explain it. Uh, yeah, we know the question. He fucking doesn't. I'm asking. All right, it. hang on. I'm answering it. Because you know, you're going to go into the thought. same fucking shit again. I know you are. Because well, let's that's just hear it. That I'm providing, and it's not. And by the way, it's a mute point that you're bringing up. Oh, we're talking about mute points again, because, are we? Because I'm. Yes, I am. Because you, you are. You're failing to define some. Of the size. You were the one who bought in. Who you were the one who brought in the firms being bought out question. That was you. You brought that into this discussion. So, do you think, think one singular and group and of people, or many disparate right. groups of people, would Quick be easier to be bought out? Which one do you think what is easier to buy out? What we're trying to discuss is, so is this can you're referring to the government as be bought out, and thus the utility maximizing processes of the market subverted more easily, or as easily, than those same processes by uncoordinated firms in the market. Because I, I hope we would all agree that some sort of Pareto optimization of utility is the goal, whether the government or the firms is doing it. So in which case is it more easily perverted? That's the current point, yes. Both. That is the current point, yes. And I want to know whether it's competing firms or one centralized entity, if, which is easier to be bought If you don't out. disagree with my statement of it, Keo, you can move ahead and answer. So what is more likely to be bought out? Yes. The way I've defined it, so having their operation perverted in a way that reduces utility maximization. But under anarchy, firms Jesus can't fucking organize Christ. into things. So, And why sure, does that like make them easier to buy out? All right, let him finish. So let, let him go through this. But he's just, Listen, he starts with retard premises and he goes on to retard Jesus conclusions. Christ. Jesus Christ, you're fucking retarded. Uh, I mean, you, look. You can say this without interruption. Just go ahead. So, if you just strictly bring into your hypotheses, right? Which, by the way, has no sort of premises on t which you've actually just made inserted an unrealistic. Are you going to answer or not? Jesus fucking Christ! A homogenous Get to the point. You, you're not letting me answer my question. So, are you are you going to read an entire novel to me? He's not going to interrupt you till you've finished. Have you finished? I haven't finished. and He's, he's not started me, so yet. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Jeez, quit interrupting Get me. Get to the Holy point. God. I am getting to the point. Quit You're not. Me. You're okay, just not. Right You're just waffling. I didn't want to have to do this. 